Hello, I'm Katie Derham, and welcome to the Richard Burnett Historical Collection of Early Keyboard Instruments, which forms the core of what used to be the Finchcocks Musical Museum, and which is still the most exceptional resource and charity for anybody who's passionate about early keyboards. Hello, my name is Julian Perkins, and I'm delighted to be here at the Richard Burnett Collection of Historic Keyboard Instruments to showcase this Viennese forte piano. Dating from about 1795, this instrument was built in Vienna by Michael Rosenberger. I love the vivid glow of its cherry wood veneer and the delicacy of its keyboard action. This is a Viennese keyboard action in which the hammers are facing towards the player as opposed to a modern piano where they face away. And for me, this gives a wonderful intimacy to the sound. You might notice that, like on the square piano by Anton Walter, the keyboard is opposite to a modern piano in that the naturals are black and the accidentals are white. Now you may be wondering what I'm doing with my knees in this performance. Well, it's not just nerves. I'm operating the knee levers, which act as pedals do on a modern piano. But here again, things are the opposite way around from what one might assume. On a modern piano, the right hand pedal operates the sustaining mechanism, whilst the left hand pedal operates the una corda, making the instrument quieter. The right knee lever operates the moderator, in which a strip of cloth, this blue cloth here, comes between the hammer and the strings to muffle the sound. So without it, it sounds like this. And with the moderator, which as I hope you'll agree, gives a wonderfully effective tonal contrast. While Beethoven is now often associated with Broadwood pianos, he would undoubtedly have known instruments like this in Vienna. I want to share with you his first two bagatelles from his collection, Opus 119. These pieces were composed by 1822, but probably date from earlier. Now we often think of bagatelles as being mere trifles, but with Beethoven we realise that brevity and profundity can work together. I love the use of rhetorical silence in the first of these bagatelles, whilst the second one delights in Scarlattian hand crossings, which really bring out the different registers of this instrument. So now for the first of these miniatures.
I hope you've enjoyed finding out about this early Viennese forte piano. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to find out more about the charity and the workshops and the events that take place here, then please do so. If you'd like to support, we'd like you to do that as well. Go to the comments section beneath this film or go and visit the Finchcocks charity website.